main engine. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Ah, uh, check. Right, let's take them. Okay, for some reason the camera got hidden there. Uh, hello, Neon here watching now or later. Healing here along with. Right here, his trusty sidekick. And welcome to a catch up stream for Darksiders. The second episode we'll be doing of it. Since, uh, yeah, the original, <laughs> the original attempt at streaming this game went rather disastrously. So, uh, yeah, I, I owe. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, yeah, I owe. Uh, a second episode of this. Um, yeah, tomorrow we'll be continuing with this as well on the original schedule. But let's get started. Let's see, oh, the audio looks good. That looks good on my end. And yeah, we, we last time we did end it a bit earlier than two hours because I miscalculated. But yeah. Uh, yeah, now we're at the Twilight Cathedral. Which will be our first dungeon. Yeah, the thing is, he ended five minutes earlier than planned, but I am. Um, not much you can do in five minutes. Yeah. I'll, prob I'll probably start with a five minute pre uh, stream, stream. Just to keep a better track of the time. Then, uh, yeah, that I don't need to. Yeah, that I don't need to count uh, three from the stream time every time. I think I saw one more over here. No. Oh, there it is. There. And there is something that I recognize, but again, we don't have access to yet. And yeah, here we have some of that ice that we just can't melt. And I will take this, even though we probably don't need it. Yeah, we didn't need it at all. All right. This is Tiamat's lair. So yeah, we'll be finding a lot of bats and eventually the big bat bitch <laughs> at the end. Yeah, what is it, Watcher? Let's see, an elaborate crystal blade, crystal blade identical to those mounted on statues throughout the cathedral. Okay. I think these function as a sort of keys in here. I don't remember those, and I still don't remember the, uh, those ice things. They're gonna have been quite a long time. We have one over here, and we have one without a sword. And there we go. Yeah, simple key system, just bring it from A to B. And it'll unlock the door. Oh, and there's the bit, the bad bitch herself. Okay, that thing is still pretty freaking strong, even though it's at least half its size, uh, half the amount of size. Yeah, that that griffin is not to mess, be messed with. Okay, something strangling a statue's head. Okay, is that... But it's not of the statue... Oh, it is of the statue behind it. <laughs> Back here, you... Okay. I am recognizing parts of the architecture here. Oh. And on the minimap, we can see what doors are open or locked by them being red or green. So we can move around here. Oh, I thought you were to say it was a famous cathedral or something. No, I'm pretty sure this isn't based on anything in the real world. Something big <laughs> landed there and... Oh. Alright, this is a citadel, not a cathedral. Let's deal with you and then the rest. Oh, uh, we 
can lock on, and we can parry now, I believe. Yeah, I saw that. Up and away. And you, let's try parrying on you. Yep. Okay, I forgot how quickly that attack comes out. I'll, I'll need to practice with the parrying. So now we can just hack and slash and just get rid of all of these. Is that the last? Yes, not the last. <laughs> okay. Oh, block your wings. Yeah. It was more of a stab to the heart than fucking the wing. <laughs> yeah. But we got rid of it all the same, just like this. Oh, okay, I was actually aiming to... <laughs> I was actually aiming to parry the other one, but that works as well. There's some satisfying with this finisher. Yep, nope. one last one. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Okay, so they growl before they do the per do, the do the fast attack. So we have a key door there. We need to find ourselves a, yeah, a quote-unquote key to stab that <laughs> door open with. Bomb growth. Grab and throw the sticky bomb onto objects and enemies before it detonates. Strike it for an instant explosion. Yeah, we don't want to be near. We don't want to be actually at it when it explodes. Uh, we'll be using an aiming mode for a bit more with this. Anything else to blow up? Not in sight. And I think I actually remember what the item of this dungeon is. It's one that will seem very, very familiar to uh, Zelda fans. What have we here? Oh, okay, it's an item. Or a consum consumable. Oh. oh, actually, no, there, there's one of those bomb things on top of it already. We'll just have to set it off, and, well, we don't have a ranged attack yet. So let's have a look in here. Nice and overgrown. I can hear you. Oh, they hit on this map. Nope. We are getting some souls, though. Can I make it across? No, just short. Here. I kind of wonder, are the bats really dangerous? Yeah, they're more a nuisance. They, they are literally mooks that we can kill in one hit, just like the zombies. But as usual with that type of enemy, it's about getting swarmed. That makes them dangerous. Yeah, but it doesn't take you, you much to even to just do the finisher move. And just jump from back to back. Yeah. yeah they're, they're more for being disruptive. And can we just get up through here? I don't think so. Nope, we can't. I don't like the design. Sorry, what were I saying? Yeah, I was just checking if we could climb up those, but no, we can't climb normal vines. Alright. But as I say, I like the design, but they do look creepy. But the creepiness does 
anticipate when the, the enemy threes the kill. Yeah. Like, I like I like the other three a lot. And many if he's in the a bit of or, or, or kind of really creepy, scary. But yeah, it does lose the creepiness factor when it's threes the kill. This probably why people love the yellow one so much for both. Well. Nothing what to put, not many people with that easy in that game, and more still a jet that allowed to keep their scary factor. Yeah. And apparently yeah. many keep almost shit the pan for them at the butcher. <laughs> Including me. Oh uh, yeah. I... <laughs> okay, clear own fanfare. Yeah, well, I was more expecting to make a shortcut back up, <laughs> not a shortcut down. <laughs> Let's see, what will we find down here then? Besides more enemies to smack around? Lava. Okay, I'm missing whether that is attack down there, or well, more is tell. Okay. Yeah, it is nice to shatter them like that, but most enemies have two uh, animations for that. So that is a little bit disappointing. Now let's see. Okay, another soldier artifact that gave us 500 from both of them, I think. I should, double, I should check on this guy if blocking fully negates damage or just... That actually fully negates it, okay. So that, that is also going to mean that there's going to be attacks that we can't block. Um, are we at the amount that we need for Death Sight? 500 more and, well, we'll, we'll more than likely find 500 in the rest of this dungeon. Okay, four this time. Now we don't have too many combos at the moment. And while taking them into the air, those put us out of reach of the others, mostly. I said mostly. <laughs> Immediately it proves why it can be a bit dangerous. So yeah, once we have that site, we will have to upgrade our combo some. And what we need to get? Ah, the key that the key that we need. Okay, what have we here? It still does not look like a key to me. It looks more like a yeah, a guitar, a weapon. That's locked, and this is blocked. Okay. Can't go, break go, those go. at the moment. So we'll just have to go back and go through the other gates. Right, I was about to say. You can go, go. My first time learning about Qatar was thanks to Diablo 2. There's gonna be a fucking weapon of joint. Okay. I researched it and it's an Indian weapon for what, you know, India. And they really love that weapon over there. Yeah, some, sometimes I... that brings a little point. Sometimes I, I find it a bit odd to s what uh, specific name should be used for... Well, Indian these days has a... Well, very bad annotation with everything and all. So, yo, that should that mean that uh, yeah, stuff and people from India sh should be called something different, or to use use a word that, uh, when applied to another group of people, is extremely offensive. Not oh, yeah. offensive at oh, the very yeah. least. 
I don't really thought of that. I don't really even heard of what's pencil. I don't know if it can be get confusing thanks to damn Columbus. <laughs> yeah. Columbus can you find his ass in the entire ocean. Yeah, I never thought of what in the end. I end up having to say we need to be very specific. So they feel confused. Yeah, when I talk about Native Americans, I just say Native American. Yes, yeah, as far as I... To my knowledge, uh, India, people from India do use uh, Indian as the term for that. Uh, with a capitalized I. Yeah. Hmm. The, I, think that so is yeah I guess that would be the correct term. Still then. There is a way to say India, Indian, and Indians. Wait, I think I just answered my question. Probably it's a which one is which. They are so damn similar. This looks like a mini boss room to me. Yep. Immediately answered. Okay, big boy, what is your thing? Big swing. Yep, she got sideways. Okay, go for the big moves and... Yep, okay, so we need to break off your armor. And underneath that, you're... A normal... Quote-unquote... Zombie or ghoul? A bit more like a normal phantom. Or an undead phantom. What? Oh, what undead it? phantom. Yeah, now he's just a dead, dead man phantom. Now the heck. I remember as a kid, we always get Indian. For Native Americans, but when I grew up, I just realized how confusing it is. So I just stopped saying Native American and Hindu. Yeah. Okay, we need this to open a door. Why don't I remember those swords? They look nice. Probably because they aren't actually a weapon and just a ceremonial decoration. Uh, quite taken. And, well, Warp usually carries around a much uh, cooler looking sword. <laughs> well, Warp made much bigger sword. Because I should probably try and draw again. Okay. Yeah, you, you could try drawing uh, War. Yeah, crap. I have to say this, I have started to live up and on with the other culture and I actually have drawn characters inspired by a Hindu. Okay. So yeah, we even made Hindu in a bit of a Hindu of a Hindu honor and such. And it's quite interesting that we well why are we so to have an armor? And um, behind the one. Yeah, whatever it is, it's angry from all of the dust <laughs> coming down. Uh, yeah, I've, I've played uh, very angry. Yeah, I wish that, that thing is really putting up a fight. Yeah, it makes you wonder, is, is that team not really a boss? It's any struggles with that griffin. Get rid of that thing for yeah. close. It might just be a one damn powerful griffin. Yeah. It was called an ancient beast. The angelic mount, they call it. Yeah, I th the angel, the one where, yeah, which was there when Abaddon got, uh, well, squished like an oversized pigeon. Uh, she, I think she called it ancient beasts. Okay. I think, the, I think ancient beast is something else she's referring to. And not the mount. Yeah, we'll have to see if the game corrects us on that. But now we have another sword the, statue there. I know when you were to ride, it said angelic mount. Uh, 
I should have expected that. Is this a half-life reference? Uh, not really, but they are similar to those uh, barnacles. And I'm pretty sure I've seen where people use dynamite to kill the barnacles. Yeah, people have been using a lot of stuff to kill those barnacles, in, from barrels uh, to just... I think it actually... Yeah, that's probably wrong. From what I was thinking, it, if you, you feed, from what I thought that if you fed them specific things, that they would you know, poison themselves. But that is more than likely wrong, in my end. And oh, this, okay. Okay, that does nothing but blow a freaking bad food in his ear. He's played. Are these monsters or? I'm not going to try and block those attacks. Yeah, they are a bit... I don't think they are ghoul. No, I don't think they are phantoms like we faced off before. As those had more... Uh, I don't actually know how to describe it. They had a less humanoid face. Still humanoid-ish, but less humanoid. Yeah, who the heck? Medium armor and very damn similar acts because it's the yeah, same axe, really. I'd have to see another one, but I think the, the phantom axes were more like pickaxes or so. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm referring to their boss, the phantom general. Okay, yep. Yeah, yeah. I've forgotten a good <laughs> bit about him, so uh, uh, yeah, good chance that those might be similar. And can we get to that? At this rate, no, but we can get over there. I did not let go, I think. William! It's not... Now it's not a time for lava bath. Okay, so there is a time limit on the wings. try to just jump over it normally. Actually, that's probably what we're supposed to do, because that's a far, far less distance. <laughs> or still not enough distance. Okay, we'll need to be back here later then, I guess. Yeah. No. Yep. That's just a grab. Cuts. Always nice. <laughs> Just give that thing a shove. And where will we need to put this thing then? Or actually, oh, I I see already. I think we need to swing your sword around. And push. Okay. So those are just around for physical objects. Let's we can bring it over here. And I saw another one of these barnacle things up here. Are there bombs we can grab? Do we need to bring those up and down? Up from down. I saw the tail, but I just missed the block. Uh, okay, here's the bombs. And uh, yeah, he can just come back up if he wants to fight again. Okay, another new path open. Actually, can we carry this through the door? Um, 
guessing not, because it was going to blow up. Okay. Then, yeah, let's head back for a moment before we continue on. Pretty sure down there is where we'll get the item uh, of this dungeon. We don't need this here anymore, so we just pull it back. Actually, we will need it there again. Let's just check if we can get that thing from here, down here. Yes, we can quite easily. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay, hopefully... Okay, they will re regain... They will come out again, so we'll just have to see if it's still down by the time we're up here. No, it is not. Okay. Grab, aim, and get up here. Because there's probably something in there that we'll want. Get missed, come on. What is it bleeding? No, it's drooling. Yeah, that, that's because the, the thing we're seeing here isn't the mouth, it's just the second mouth. That is the mouth. Okay, okay, now I see. And yeah, we're not fast enough to get up before it retains its, uh, yeah, its taste. So we'll just have to see about coming back later. Now it's into the catacombs. Nice. The one screen you send forth the fly in synchronization. Get out of the corner. <laughs> yes. Then I don't need to go back diving into the corner. And it seems that if you don't need to keep them stunned or anything for that, it's just if they are on a low enough health. There we go. Let's see, another health chest, and there, that should be it. Blade, a finely crafted throwing blade that can strike multiple targets, enter A mode by pressing right stick, and select up to five targets by holding left trigger. Press right trigger to throw the cross blade. We got a boomerang. Oh! Oh, wait, is there some kind of thing A cross blade? And yeah, this will help deal with these stupid things a lot easier now. Especially if they stay Wait. out of range. I have a little bit of fire path as well. Or probably oh, maybe it's more of a hell path? We're <laughs> just a blender. <laughs> Let's try this. One. It's not selecting another. Okay. Oh, okay, I need to keep it pressed for that. Okay. Away with you. Away with you. 
last but not least, <laughs> you can take a boss. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, you especially need a black uh, a bath. Yeah, you look more of a job for pestilence if he was a horseman in this series. Yeah, I can't understand why they didn't make it. Famine and pestilence are into horsemen in this game. And, well, pestilence will be a very sick looking person. Yeah. And famine will, yeah, uh, will not be strong of any sorts. Come again? Yeah, a character named Famine, you'd uh, not really expect to be that strong, since, well, Famine kind of has a thing with starvation and such. Yeah. Is this thing going to die or not? Or is that just meant to get the filth off? Doesn't matter. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want to stand near that. Double reason to not stand near it. But I, now I'm trying to think of. Am I? For some reason, I think of Nurgle, Warhammer. Yeah, that's pestilence more. Yeah, oh, combination. Okay, eat so much that no one can eat. Uh, an oversized uh, horseman. Now, uh, while amusing, would probably not be. Uh, well, it could probably be made interesting to play. And yeah, we have enough for that side. Yeah, just, if just coming out with weapons or that, or that kind of character is tricky. And yeah, since they already made death, uh, death and war, and imagine that. Fury would not make work as a good pestilence. Yeah. But yeah, I can not pause. I kind of like the creative, a little bit of creative freedom in this uh, case. And it worked in this case, even. Three, one, two. Okay. Maybe it's a game where Famine is a very gluttonous person, and well. He's the reason why there is famine. Who eats everyone else's food? Okay, I know there's a gluttony in Cold uh, uh, Metal Alchemist, but not a famine, I think. Well, gluttony is a sin, not one of the four horsemen. Yeah. And that is stuck. So, let's see. Can I new Tori? Yes, it can. It also literally defaced the statue. Oh, there's another crystal there. Okay. There we go. That should leave it free now. So we can pull it off, but for what effort? Because that's on top. Okay. Okay, now we can move on. How does that work? Mm, it's something you could ask with basically every RPG ever. Crossblade. The crossblade can absorb arcane energy from certain target strikes. Uh, aim throw with an energy source. Tagging multiple targets will transfer energy. Okay. So we go with that, and then yeah, 
<laughs> Not like that. Lock on there. And lock on there. There we go. And now we're on the other side, so let's move out. Three of these statues. Okay, and I see three gates. One, two, and a locked one there. Okay. So find a blade in every trial and bring them back. Good morning, yeah. It was a bit too heavy metal to be a ninja. True, but you don't have a very big shuriken. So yeah, he could make for a good narrative character. <laughs> oh god. Let's see. Oh wait, there, there is actually James Shuriken in, um, uh, in another uh, manga. Inujasha. Uh, yeah, I just... I don't remember who uses that. Uh, uh, Demon Huntress? Uh, uh, yeah, Demon Huntress is here. He writes a saber-toothed fox. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I forget both of their names, or basically... Basically, I've forgotten all of the names besides the main two, Kagome and Hello there, Inuyasha. Yeah. Uh, I have a complete collection of Ranma. I have got a lot of Inuyasha, but I've not been able to finish Inuyasha, sadly. And does it help that... Uh, I've been trying to see if I can order them, but apparently all the ones I can order from where I'm missing has been in Yerban for some reason. Okay. So I guess they stopped uh, uh, translating them to Swedish? Okay, and this one's inert. But we can't climb with it. Also, oh, yes, I'll try to find the English versions, but with no luck. Okay. Uh, we could put that on the to watch list. Because, uh, yeah, yeah Dr Drakir and I. We've been watching shows together. Uh, and yeah, currently we're busy. Or no, currently we've been watching uh, My Hero Academia. Yep. And he's awesome. Nope. Okay, so that's one set of gears free. The other is clear as well. The third is just plain <laughs> fucked. Anything else that we need to put a bomb on then? Or do we just go up? If we missed something, we can easily enough go back. Let's see. Ah, oh, we, we walked past this before. We were probably supposed to pull this to see what it would do. And what it do is this. Did the ancient demons or someone else make this for? Good luck for you to pull that out and twist. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to assume that the demons have been uh, <laughs> doing architectural work. Yeah, it has been a century, they said. I think. So. Okay, yeah, so this might not be human ruins or something. Or what the heck? Okay, it goes for two full spins, or is it automatically moving? I think I think it's just going to move automatically. So uh, yeah, we have no need to go jump after it again. We just need to get on. Then we can take the bomb groats from over there and use them to blast that open. I do get the odd feeling that this recording is getting a 
more is there is getting a better frame rate than me for some reason. And actually we have an active one over there, so there's no need for that. Or maybe there was. Okay. Okay. How do I get you? One, and then ping there. Okay, how are we to clear that up then? These things are inert. That one just blows up where it sits. Or, actually, I think I just remembered something. Because if we can't move the explosion from there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, since those things respawn, no matter if you throw them... Well, okay. Those inert ones respawn after you pluck one out. So, uh, yeah, you can just lay down an entire chain of them. Okay, there is a range limit to this thing. Okay, How yeah. far can we throw that? It's real freaking four. far. Oh. But I was saying, these five bats are way more dangerous than the other ones. Yeah. Actually, there's no need to go walk over because this is going to go there anyways. By the time we would have walked over, it would have started turning anyways. <laughs> Yep. Okay, first stop, lava. And then I kind of sin wanna be. <laughs> okay, let's get a little bit of distance. Put a wall against a back against a wall, another wall. Yeah, not famous last word. It would have been rather stupid if we'd gotten knocked out of the knocked over the ledge there. <laughs> and that's going to raise a second statue and that should open the place up. Or at least open up the way to opening it up. Short range, but okay. Or uh, do we, are we going to need to activate those at the same time or something? Okay, can we lock on now? We can. And it quickly goes back to normal. So lock on, lock on. And that's quick enough. Okay, so we don't need to be playing around. Just a snort of steam for the style points. <laughs> and that's the first of three. Uh, nothing going to intercept and be a pain. And yeah, I'm guessing that over there confirms that the demons have been doing some architecture work. Because I don't think most uh, <laughs> most cathedrals would have demons in them. <laughs> Except for oh, as warnings. Oh. And again, we still have these eight angelic statues. Second trial. Okay. 
see. Keep pressing the lock on button for this. Okay, let's clear these out. And there we go. I was going to ask, are you sure you want to use your smaller hand for that? But no, he was using this big one. <laughs> what the? I kind of wonder, what is this? Something like these stones made of that can just come out from lava like that? Yeah, there are stones, there's types of stone that are resistant to the extreme heat. Though, I'm not sure which ones that would be exactly. I'm not, an, I'm not a geologist. Uh, is it basalt or granite? Basalt might be a good one. Uh, just in case... Okay. Just in case that platform was going on there. Did it, did it glitch into a. Oh, it's gone. It looked like it turned your head on from the ledge of one of the platforms. Let's see. Oh, we now can figure this. Okay, now we've got bombs and... I think I saw a second crystal. Yep, there. Let's see. Any others? None that I see. Draws back down there. And okay, this is the path forward. And well, that was a that was a bun good bunch shorter. We can get the other path after we get the blade here. And unless something pops out of the lava to jump at us. I think so. Uh, Must be then uh, some kind of metal from one of the other worlds then. Yeah, I, I very much <laughs> doubt that the demons would use a metal that would normally melt. Actually, I think this might be the way out. Yep, it is. <laughs> so we were going there anyways. Okay, that was substantially easier. Now we just gotta find out how to open up the last door. Pretty sure it looked like one of those chain ones. Unless, of course, putting the second blade in is going to open it. I guess that answers that. Hmm. Okay, some more skeletons to fight. But skeletons isn't the right term. They are... They are down to the bone, but they still have meat on them. Something oh, yeah. here, they don't look too great. Are these skeletal jumpers? 
Maybe. So we... Oh, bloodhead. The energies keep up doing and they will return from the dead in one way or another. Okay, go on locks and we get the loot back. Uh, what is this going to be then? Uh, uh, another key. Okay. Oh, it's a, a, a rod shard. Okay. Ooh. We definitely want that as well. Um, let me actually bring up the map. One. Okay, so yeah, the uh, the horde seeker is for each area alone. Which was the way out again? That one, I think. So we've basically gone full circle. But we are missing one blade for uh, one of the angels. There wasn't a blade in here. Unless the key we got now will leave us quick? Maybe. I very much doubt that we'll be able to take one from the others. And... What would that even open up? There doesn't seem to be a gate there, and that's a skull in the floor. A very T-shaped skull, and I don't think it will rise up to bring us anywhere. So maybe there is only two swords. Yeah, yeah, big Agni scaries. Come back! I want my promotion! Actually, we can't go further. We can't go back here. So, did I overlook something? Let's bring up the map yeah. again. Oh yeah, there, there's a there's a locked gate here. Yeah, we walked oh, right past it. Oh come on, come back! <laughs> well, now he has a friend stuck down there. Oh, not down what there anymore. Good. <laughs> bye bye. Yokes come to! Oh, so who thought it was a good idea to install garage doors in a cathedral? Because <laughs> that's, that's basically what those are garage doors. Switch. Okay, that's right. Okay, so we're going to have to make a bridge. And I'm not hearing any ticking, so I'm presuming that it isn't timed. this time and it has something stuck in its chest. Um okay, shoulder. Maybe it's only stuck in his shoulder as well, alien. Since when do cathedrals have jailers? Then again, demon overtake. Well, it's got the proud Pitadel, not cathedral. Yeah, and we don't want to be near that thing. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in the environment to deal with it, so I'm going to guess, yep. The shiny place, kill it.
Oop. He did not like that. No. <laughs> he, he didn't like it so much that he, his, his spots turned red. It's raging! Oh, and that thing comes hanging out. Actually, is that his weak spot? That might be his weak spot. It might be his actual horn. Yeah. Oh, hello. There must be some way to rupture this meat bag's fleshy spots altogether. Okay, just bring that back. There we go. So you can ask the watcher for advice like that. And okay. Yeah, we've got this thing down and the <laughs> sliced and dies in Christ. Okay. Three times the charm. Not yet. So I'm going for four. No, I thought he was going to throw that. Don't think my ideas. Okay, you are severely slow. Oh, that's why. was the jailer, then I guess that one was the warden. <laughs> Where does this go? You gotta admire this big architecture like this with the or big architectural mechanics like this with these big ass wheels. Even though you could easily lose an entire leg in them. Yeah. We've got the nerd bombs, we've got players that are out. Wait. Like torches that what are did out. You call it? Hmm? What did you call the bomb? Yeah, the what? The hmm? What did you call the bomb? Yeah, the inert. What? Oh, I thought you, thought you called it the, the nerd bomb. <laughs> also a possibility. Oh, uh, no. yeah, these seem to be. Hmm. Are these off? Okay. okay, we need fire from somewhere. From there, I'd say. Okay, turn everything on. Okay, there, there, and just out of reach, okay. I'm guessing whatever is needed to bring up platforms there is over here, and oh, hello, just as the welcoming party is, and that. Okay. Try something here. It stuck to his head. Okay, uh, fire. <laughs> okay, that sort of works. 
to come back. Okay, there we go. I hope we'll find a, a health chest num somewhere nearby. Why am I even worse with English than usual? Today. Well, it's Monday. Is that good enough answer? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, now I am going to be dealing with this thing thumping in my hands, controller. Look, I can hear the controller! Actually, no, we don't have any of those healing things. Okay, we should, we should find Volgrim soon and stock up on, well, first get to that site. Because that'll give us more souls, which will make it easier to buy stuff. And then we'll just need some healing items from him. Yeah, I have to ask, why does they have death size? Yeah, good question, how the hell did he get that? Yeah. Or it's I, a replica. I really hope they... Give some explanation about it. Yeah, it could also be a DLC thing because I think this game got a weapon DLC pack or something and that is going straight up. Okay, that's going to bring out the other half of the bridge. Nice. And more. Okay. Yeah, you guys are not required, so bye bye. Okay. Smart one was trying to get behind me. Technically speaking, pickles aren't exactly fresh since, uh, well, they, come on, they, they are pickled uh, cucumbers. Yeah, that basically means what I'm all, 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 all to say there makes it just worse. Yes, I'm also having brain, Monday brain nest or something. Seems so now. What is over here? Hmm. Uh, that. Uh, let's check over here because that looks big and important. 
Or is this just a shortcut? Where is the arrows? The armor? The moon? Okay, yeah, we... Wait. Back to where we started down here. Something? No. Okay. That side passage looks familiar. Deal with the small father so we can get Ross. Hear you. Not enough. Did that still hit us? Right. Uh, I thought we had the last one. Okay, so dodging doesn't give full immunity to damage. Uh, yeah. Not really many invincibility frames on it. Yeah. And, and okay, probably would have been best if we grabbed this first. Oop. No, 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 you are not stinking this place up. Maybe you should not have taken that. Yeah. Well, I guess that is, the, that is the last sword that we're looking for. No, you don't. Stay away. I, know, I have no idea why cutting it to pieces uh, cleanses it of its fills, but okay. But you need some magical leg. Yeah, it could be uh, absorbing its uh, its elements, so to speak. That or it's basically someone stealing it. It could be that it. Preventing from spewing out more, he gets distracted. Oh dear. Okay, both of you. Yep, thank you. And yeah, they look very much like the Phantom the Captain from earlier. Yeah, he was the Phantom Yellow, I guess. Um, these maybe the phantom captains? Or phantom elite? Maybe. Either way, they're in the way, so they've got to go. Pitiful, says the dead man. How would you know I'm a demon? Pretty hard. Is your control is getting again? Okay. Gone. Okay, it's moving up on its own, so we can reach the exit again. Well done. But don't get yourself uh, crushed. That'd be ironic for war. Fight, fight his way through all of that, and then he gets stuck underneath the door. You are in one important. I have a special. 
I think I remember my friend also made the same mistake as you. Mistaking that they were all about to do out well, when we are losing the fifth uh, scenario. Pretty sure this is the passage we entered the place by. Yeah, this goes all the way. Yeah, that, that was the entrance to the catacombs here. And. Wait. I never did like going to church. Let's cut the bat queen and make this a short mass. Yeah, I think you should bring that sword as the final sword into that. Uh, the trio. Yeah, the trio. Yeah. I'm guessing the watcher isn't going to be too useful with its ad advice. Maybe even give different advice or just advice or just a second. This place. I have to admit, for a bunch of weaklings, those humans were full of surprises. Who knows what secrets they buried down here? Okay, so it is likely human builds. What is this place? Yep. Okay, quick little loading screen. For a bunch of weaklings, those humans were full of surprises. Who knows what secrets they buried down here? Hmm. The question is, when did they build this? Probably some long ass time ago, and that's not where we need to go. Or Thing. they just gave it a lot of upgrades considering the garage doors. There's nothing there, and yeah, we can go. We can get to the other sides through the parkour stuff. Did you just seriously... What are we to do with you? Eh, not much, apparently. And then here... Hmm. Which of these are... Okay, yeah, it is on the other side here. Okay, I, I hope I won't be getting too lost in these uh, dungeons. 26 hours later... ...is <sighs> still lost. And I see a health chest there if we need it. Now what is this going to do? Oh, is the ground going to shatter under us? It's going up. There's a ceiling in front. No, I guess we'll be just break. No, we won't be breaking through because this freaking opens up like a freaking a missile silo. <laughs> okay, but that does mean that we can get in now. Finally. And of course. Yeah. Does that mean that we'll be facing Tiamat real soon here? Wait, I just realized. Who the heck is lighting all the candles? It could be Hellfire. And yeah, this very much looks like a boss arena. Nice to know, Neil Julian. As the council reduced the horsemen to common assassins. Oh, has Samael bought your loyalty? Because if you are for sale, Ryder. We can strike a deal. You won't like my terms. Yeah. 
Okay, I remember nothing of how to fight these bosses. I remember this is as ugly as I remember. Such a pity. That's not a feminine voice to have. She sounds like someone has been promoted into. Well, oh, that, that's the answer. She is literally. Yeah, she's a dragon bat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, didn't that head out? There it is. Yeah, it did not hit. Okay, might as well stick an out another one to her then. Come on. We're already at a quarter of our health. <laughs> okay. We need to catch her. Uh, do we have any health around here? Because he's good to hit us with each of those. There, that should set the bomb off and now. Deal as much damage as possible. Uh, we have a little sliver of health left. Oh, not even a sliver of health. Why that was a mess? Okay, that is at least better than the fireballs. Miss. And there we go. Waypoint. And at least we have full health now. And hopefully we can skip this now. Oh dear. There we go. Wrong button again. Okay, so we can't skip the little intro. Okay, so throw a nerd bomb onto her, then light it up. Okay, that's going to hurt a bit when she takes off. Okay, can we put bombs on her as he's charging? Get stuck. It did not lock on. Moving away from the flame sources. Going to sit. Oh, she dropped it. Okay. That should be stuck to her now. Let's be sure. And I'm dodging too early with those. Okay. Okay, go at her again, get as much hits in, and retreat. Did, yeah, did she accidentally set up the bomb that it was still on her? Oh my god. Oh no, there was just ground pounds. Nope. Quick time. Okay, just pump the bitch across. Not helpful. Oh, she got rid of the bombs. Okay. So now it is just an outright ball. Yep. 
And boom. Okay, just smile. I thought she was going to breathe fire there, but no, instead she did a power bomb. The moment I thought that was her in, in a death state, but no, ow. That almost threw us off. Wait, what the heck did it do you? Take you on that for a bit. Okay, if she takes off, she power bombs. Keep some distance for when she does that, and she's going to charge. Okay, fourth time to charm. Yes, she isn't getting any charm right now, any more charming. And here she comes again. Done yet? Not yet. Come on. Time to orphan the entire bat species. She is getting her own hits in though. Okay, okay now this is uh and just a reminder, this is uneasy. So either I completely suck at this game, or it is not play uh, around. the Chosen. Samuel uh, requires this item of powerful arcane energy to unlock access to the Black Throne. One down, three to go, and we get a lifestone, so now we get more health. Bye. Any last words, Watcher? Or you're just going to hover away? and see what he's got to offer. A deal's a deal. Yep, and we need to visit Wolverine. Tragic. Without your feathered friend, how will you escape this prison of rock? I'll find a way. You have certainly proven yourself resourceful. Perhaps I can provide a quicker way. 
Speak plainly, demon. Serpent holes. Ancient paths that worm their way beneath the husk of this dead world and beyond. I use them to get about, and for a price, so can you. What do you want, Baldrum? A trifle, really? The Chosen's heart. I felt its power the moment you stepped from that tower. You wound me, horseman. I would never come between you and your friend Samayan. No, I only wish to look at the heart. One glance, and our bargain is sealed. <laughs> Samayan will be pleased. The Serpent Holes are yours, Horseman. Seek me out when you wish to use them. And yeah, this is the game's fast travel system. This ancient network of pathways flows throughout the world and beyond. Seek out Vulcrum locations to gain access to these passage passageways. The Vulcrum location... Yeah. And well, we are going to look them out anyways. So yeah, he is both the merchant and the fast travel. That's Ricochet Blade and the Shredder. At first, the Harvester. That's Legendary Sights. Okay, so technically it is the same. Old Vulcan's got something new for you. And with that we get more powers. Or well we unlock more powers to buy. Multi-hit flurry. Too hard a bargain, friend. Okay, and those in. Old Vulcan's got something new for you. Spinning side toss in the air. Excellent choice. Hellraiser. Oh wait, okay, I think oh I think I get it. The har the harvester doesn't take up the main weapon slot. It goes on the Y button nice. instead of the X. So we have X attacks for single targets nice. and Y for broad uh, swipes. And yeah, the, the site becomes free because it's a downgrade. Okay, that's that is nice. Oh yeah, and probably more true with what you said earlier, it being a scene weapon, perhaps. Could be. Okay, we don't have enough to make get any more. So yeah, let's get out of here. We have the broken stair, which is where we flew. The choking grounds, the swamp. And then there is the crossroads again. Okay, so we do need to move around a bit while the game loads it in. I should check if there's anyone who has made keychains out of Vulcan's uh, signature or whatever you call that. You're sure that's why? Maybe not. Uh, you probably also noticed that Sir Volgrim's back. Yeah, he has stuck. It looks like he had wings of his own at one point, but that they were cut off. Yeah, they looked very stunted almost. Like a very malformed. Yeah, I'm guessing it had involved his banishment. Let's see. This way. Fallen demon? Uh, not really fallen, more uh, not wanted by under demons. And yeah, that's the side. Yeah, we'll be using that to be deal with the father for most of this. And yeah, before these guys only gave, normally these only give one soul. Okay, we get two souls from the mouth. Wait, does that mean that the, just getting the sight will get you more souls from anything? Oh, 
Oh, these are giving singles. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing it's a bit of a randomized number of uh, the amount of souls that they normally drop. And yeah, the, the sight should increase those numbers. And let's see. Yep, now we have it available here as well. Or we, we can see it. Uh, can we... We don't have anything that we can put on there. Uh, let's double check this moves. Why, why, why? Hellraiser... Left trigger and back, and plus Y. Oh, that is. Okay. Let's test it out. Okay, lock, lock on, move back, and then. Okay. Okay. Alright, time! Okay. Uh, let's hand, hand, this, hand this in. Suffered? Not nearly enough. Beautiful. The second guardian, the griever, moves in tunnels beneath this place. But first there is an obstacle that must be removed. All vain. One of the old ones. You didn't mention that before. Changing the deal already, Samael. Be silent, Bilth. My business is with the horseman. Ulthane is no ally of the Destroyer. But you won't find the Griever without confronting the Black Hammer. And that will require strength you don't possess. <laughs> Yet. What the hell do you think you're doing, Samael? Tell him, Watcher, how you stifle a horseman's true power in order to keep him on the Council's leash. War. Destroy this parasite. You so much as blink at me, and the Council will end you, both of you. I'm protected. Not in here. You are War, rider of the Red Horse. Not some puppet on this pathetic creature's strings. Or I will make you suffer. Focus your anger. A great rage stirs within you, clawing to get out. You must release it, or a puppet you will remain. form back. Temporary call upon wars. Chaos form to decimate enemies. Left button and right trigger. As was at the start. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was satisfying to see the little shit get punked with the costume map. Okay. There we go. Alright, and what little secret will we find up here? 
And little thing. I think I remember the character who that name belongs to. I just have to see if my memory is correct. Abyssal armor piece. He's a blood forged abyssal armor. Collect ten to collect to complete the set. Okay, is that for unlocking uh, yeah, better armor? Or hmm, we'll have to see. It doesn't say if it'll be better armor or just appearance. For now, more souls for us. Let's see. The marker go tells us to go this way. Hmm, let's see, what time are we at? We're still about half an hour. Father will probably be using the site to get out a few extra souls of them. Uh, we need to In test it. Hmm? The father will. Does the, the minions will use the site on when he can? We'll have to see if killing them with a special like with a finish like that will give us the bonus still or not. And that was active. Father, F O D D E R, Cannon Father. Oh! That's the path forward, so we're checking over this way to see what we can do. Oh, oh follow them over here. Okay, we, we could have reached here earlier. We did see his signs around the place on Samuel's place. There we go. And uh, I'll just be taking this since you're too lazy to get off your pedestal. Hello, another rock shard. Okay. Both are for for each. And is there anything else here? Nothing that we can pass through now. Okay. Normally these guys give one or two souls. Two there. Yeah, I'll have to look up a bit. Like what amount the uh, yeah the site gives extra, or if it just increases the chances of more. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh hello, we haven't caught you in a while, that and you are blue fire. fire. That green wish. Okay, might as well give this a shot again. And yeah, that this totally decimates. No, I wonder it'll probably be by kills that this recharges and hello. Goodbye. Should be glad that this one isn't. And I think we just need to jump over. Nope. 
lanterns. I think we're activating it. At the least it's slow. That got us 11, I think. Yeah, 11 souls we got from that. Yep. Oh no, I God, Gideon! So far, it's got the mobs you've been dying from. This is only on stability for clumsiness. It has not only been dying, it's more just getting injured because it doesn't reset us to the next, you know, to the last checkpoint. Okay, we decide I got 11 souls from one of these. Um, wait, was that only 5 or something? Twelve oh seven, and now... 12 or 12, okay, so that was 5. 12, 12, then... Yeah, we, we get double the souls, it seems. Oh! Yeah, that's gonna... A whole far lot for this game through. The uh, playthrough, I mean. Yeah, it will slow things down a bit since we won't be... We'll be using finishers less. Oh, hello there. Go, 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 Jay, that's new. Big catch. Actually, it, it probably worked. Uh, to whittle them down with normal attacks like this, and once they get into a vulnerable state, finish them off with the scythe. I'm thinking, at least, since we don't know how much min souls these give normally. Oh, okay, no uh, vulnerable state. Oh well. Still getting 250. Round pass. Here. And there's another one. Oh, and some reinforcements. Okay, well, we know with you guys that we can just get you into your vulnerable state. And then finish you. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, he steals them and then fires them off at us. Yeah, yeah, laugh it off. Okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> Just short. <laughs> Go, yeah, okay. Yeah, we really need to go buy some health items. Actually, do we have any at all? I thought we picked one up at some point. And no, it was this a rage item, which restores a broth. Might as well assign that. And. Finish you off with no. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. <laughs> See how much you're laughing when you're bisected. Yeah, make this very whole bigger. Oh wait, it's near what the minimum would be. Are you going to die already? Is that the demon version of the defense that we got from New Academia? Yeah, I guess so. 
Well, it'd be, you'd be closer to Fat Gun. Combination on both. Thank you. Some hidden down here. Uh, something. Oh, we're going to need to be working with the Shadow Realm again. Okay. What is that growling? Something in the water? Oh, yeah. Uh, Wait, yeah, what? we get out. Yeah, demon fish, it seems. Can we even fight in the water? Yeah, we can swing around. We can swing chaos a year around. Right. We need to go that way, I think. Or that way. Looks more to here. Okay, <laughs> we were basically swimming in piranha infested waters without even realizing it. Sight as a finisher, though. Uh, for now, though. Maybe that's the idea. I was wondering, it. for a bit of recall, you can use all the weapons as a finisher, at least the uh, all the side. Okay, we need to equip the horn collar again. Oh wait, I. Yeah, they're assigned to these. Okay. Wake up. Another way. The curse must be broken. Then you may pass. Find where these shadow lurkers hide and kill them all. They can't be that hard to find. Yeah, here we go with this again. And I presume that each one is hidden behind one of those combat trials again. The more but love cuts and glory. Okay, let, let's see about finishing these off. And then we'll probably have to end the stream because we have about 10 minutes left. And there's one of them. And there's another. <laughs> I was going to say, don't drop us into the water. Well, the water is... Uh, wait, no, the water is not safe. Yep, another combat trial. Would you otherwise prefer a riddle trial? No, yeah, war would cut the Riddler in half. Ah yeah, shut up your sovereign wannabe. Wrath of War. Kill 30 enemies. With the Chaos Form, okay. So is it going to force us into it? Or do we have to charge it? It's... Nope. <laughs> we killed two just from going into it. Okay, but it is draining, and the uh, heck. Okay, new enemy type. Yep, 
you. Yeah, we are going to... Actually, it seems to be recharging on its own to some degree. And I didn't check if it was recharging or not earlier. So I, I presume it, that normally it won't recharge. Oh. <laughs> okay. The freaking demon sound now again. Okay, here we go again. And another two getting a hot on their foot. Okay. That was better. And great. Now we have some sort of anchor wielding phantoms or something. No, that was good. Okay. Big boy. Uh -oh. Okay, let's go after that caster. If this thing stops shooting it. There we go. And here goes more. And there's another caster. I didn't expect that one to fall that easily, even to the Chaos form. See? It's you. It's you. Now, this doesn't seem to be increasing the counter, so I'm guessing for this at least, it's going to be stuck on only... Or is it... No. Attacking it. By attacking we charge it, not by killing. You, you think something you charge by attacking, you could also charge by just killing, but oh well. And again, two caught on the foot. There we go. Yeah, we're, I'm really going to need to keep in mind that the Chaos Throw just <laughs> completely slaps enemies around. I always knew you had it in. Yeah, sure. You knew we had it in us. Well, you knew War had it in him because you're keeping him from accessing all of that power. Okay, one down. Think it's better, but all right. Extra souls, always nice. There is one. Probably attacking the face again. I'm sure they just want to put in Yeah, then they'll have a hard time getting through that st those steel toes. <laughs> All right, what will this be? Killing, of course, but in what way? I really hope these things don't pop up too many times more, because they're a real roadblock. I'm not really a defender. Keep at least one on that soldier alive throughout the time limit. Okay, changing things up. Undead soldier alive. And we need to go this for a full freaking five minutes. And they're going to be attacking on their own. Great. So we need to maybe save the bounce of suicidal skeletons. Let's try and grab gather you idiots up. All of you on the same target, then you'll at least not stick together. Yeah, also this one is probably good to help to end the stream. At least we've got a bunch back packed up here. Uh, they were to survive for five minutes? So, oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can 
I can take an easy guess that this is probably one of the least liked things of this game. And I must say that I don't actually remember something like this in Darksiders 2. So, uh, yeah, at the very least, they, it seems that they likely learned their lesson. Oh, and now we've got a fat guy in here as well. Born is pretty much useless. And yeah, it's only through attacks that we get uh, Chaos Charge. None of them have died so far! That's one, two, three, four. Yeah, those two are probably going to die. Hmm. They're more durable than I expected. That or Phantoms really for, suck. Your death beautiful effort killing them. Need to thin their hurt, thin their hurt. Where there's the most of them. There we go. Those two are still alive. And that's a bunch of those. Oh. There goes one of them. Yeah, we probably should have expected to lose at least some. Yeah, we only need at least one surviving. I guess yeah. the more than you survive, the more problems you have. And we're getting a good amount of souls again. Oh, and it's one of those. The Fire Fists. Probably should have saved Chaos Form for this one. Thank you for the invisibility frame. And there's a second. Okay, so I'm guessing this is of the type that Enemies will keep spawning with time and not by amount of kills, and that's only one left. Fuck. Now we need to keep. Nah. Okay, that is going to be a real nuisance. Uh, must come easy for you. First the apocalypse, now this. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, let's give it another shot. And this time... Yeah, th this time let's focus less on killing and just driving away enemies. Yeah, yeah, lap it up. Technically, Ross, technically, War could just uh, reach between those bars and poke its eyes out. Or its eye out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to be babysit these two and interrupt any attacks that come at them, like that. Uh, other than that. Yeah, this will just be a boar fest. And I guess that confirms that they spawn with time, not with kills. Okay. That would complicate things a bunch. At least it, I think we kept all of the souls. So technically, these things would be useful for soul grinding. And yeah, they are coming in big bunches. Yeah, we are going to need to go on the offensive. Yeah, we should probably 
Why did he do the here for him? Yeah, we're saving that. At the very least, they're bunched up now. So that they can support each other. That attack has an annoyingly short range. And this one we need to deal with because of its AoE attacks. So. Like that. Stab you in the foot, stab you in the foot, and that's it done, okay. okay. One is gone. Where's the rest? There they are. Yeah, at least we've cleaned out a good amount. But they will just keep spawning like this, it seems. Now, we, we did clear the board for like half a second there. And I don't think we've seen these anchor wielding ones uh, before. Now. Yeah! I almost forgot them. I mean, let's get an egg finisher on one of them. Oh, it's just the exact same as the Phantoms. That's disappointing. Okay, a minute and a half. Let's wait for the other big one to spawn. Let's. Actually, them grouping up is a negative now. Because now they can get hit. Well, now they can all get hit by these wide attacks. And here we go. Not that. But we, how we, how we're just not charged. Actually. The side attacks don't charge chaos form. Okay, that's a big drawback. Okay, you two stay busy over there. I'll stay busy with these two. Okay, so that is a big drawback. And this one's going suicidal. Uh, that's one down at least. Give me. Give me these invisibility frames. How are we on time? 20 seconds. Uh, ah. Ugh. Okay then. Failure must come easy for you. Yeah, shut up. One last one, third time to charm. Uh, I'd say let's, uh, wait till next time. Yeah, okay. At least we know yeah. what we need to do. Yeah, save the chaos we... form for the big bastards. Yep. But, but the site is good. We did use that a little bit too much there. Yeah, and we've learned one big drawback of it. Yep. So, so... But, but do we really still need to use it there? Maybe not as much. Yeah, at least we have it charged now, or we should have it charged. No, it, it uncharged, okay. So, use this, use Chaos Eater until Chaos Form is, is, is ready. Then finish everything off with the site for... Actually, do we keep the souls? 32, 40. I think that's about what we had at the end there, though I'm not sure. I'm sure as well. I, I know I have that over 3,000. Anyway, though. 
Yeah, that'll be it for the second episode of Darksiders. Yeah. We got through... We got through this cathedral quite fast, actually. I remember it being stuck there for a decent amount of time. Not like hours, but you know, longer than that. Or then again, I have gone through it before, so could just be a memory adding in on that. Possibly. <laughs> okay, for now though, yeah, tomorrow, more Darksiders. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Tuesday, even more Darksiders. But, uh, as always, anyone else watching now or later, thank you, and thank you especially, Vakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And, yeah, until next time, but until then, until then. Be safe, folks!